Okay, here's Cyanogen CM9 on my G2 phone, HTC G2. And I'm going to boot it up here. This will take a while. It took me about uh, two hours to upgrade it last night. Went from gingerbread to Cyanogen 9. You can see the boot up screen here. That's the new Cyanogen logo and boot up screen, boot animation. And there we are. It is booted into CM9. There's the unlock screen. And uh, just kind of show you the, the lock screen again. You can pull to the left and go into the camera if you want to, or you can unlock. You can see there's some of my games. Oh, everything went away for a second. Don't know why. But there it is. It's 9.37 at night. Got some of my other apps. Got uh, Evernote. There's my gallery came up. So you can see there's some pictures, Kindle app, camera. There's some bookmarks. You can see I've got uh, seven screens set up. You can set up more than just three screens, more than five screens, you can go up to seven. There's uh, email and Google Mail and there's a across the bottom there's uh, apps that you can kind of your favorite apps that you can you can put it on the tray at the bottom and it'll stay on every screen. Let's see the system settings. So I can show you the about phone. And I don't know if you can read it or not, but there's Android 4.04. It's a Sanjin Mod version 9 unofficial. I don't know if there's anything other else important in there. You've got performance here. You can set your clock speed, which is kind of neat. So I think this this phone is supposed to be 800 megahertz. I've got it up to 14, and it seems to be running fine. I haven't tried the higher up, but uh, you have that option if you want to. I guess you'd probably want to check specs before you do that. You got themes and launcher and system settings. It's kind of neat the uh, power off button. Well, okay, let me do this again. You hold it down, you have some more options. You got power off reboot, profile, you can take a screenshot. That's kind of interesting. And airplane mode. And you got some other stuff down there. The camera is kind of interesting because you now have the panoramic panoramic mode where you can go around the room if you want. I don't care to do that right now. But the camera is working, everything seems to be going pretty good with that. Whether I should see that or not, but okay. So it looks uh, like we've got a nice working CM9. Haven't run into any problems yet. Uh, liking it so far. Thanks for watching.